What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys. I am currently in Baltimore now. Um, my sister called me, and she wanted to know if I could come down and help get the last bit of things out of my mom's place. So I rearranged my schedule just a little bit, and I am here until at least Wednesday or Thursday, and then I'm going to be heading to New London, Ohio. But I just got in Baltimore about 30 minutes ago and I'm hungry and I am here at my favorite parking spot in Baltimore. If you've been around long enough, you know what that spot is. And I am about to cook me some dinner. And I'm so excited about this meal because I am going to be fixing some poached salmon with some flavored rice with a little bit of broccoli, onions, and as well as some shrimp. So without further ado, let's get it on because I'm hungry. Uh, where can I put this? Okay. I have some uh, salmon, some rice, Some broccoli and some shrimp but we're gonna start off with some rice one cup of rice and one cup of water. Go ahead and get all that underwater. Now into this. Now rice is something that you can flavor any kind of way you want. You know, whether it's curry rice, teriyaki rice. Today I am going for a ginger and garlic rice. Now I could have very well used one of my Ben's butter and garlic rice packs, but I wanted to make it with the white rice. So into the rice, I'm going to put some, some ginger. Some garlic. Also going to add some of this better than bouillon for some chicken flavor like even though it's fish I love the way this uh, tastes in rice so just a little dab of it Next, I'm going to cut up some onions.
I don't want a whole lot in there. Pepper. And the last thing I'm going to put in here is some bits of this uh, butter and herb, this garlic uh, uh, herb butter that you guys know that I like a lot and I can't even talk right now. And that's the Kerrygold butter. So I'm just going to break off little chunks and put all over. Okay. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to put the top on. But before that, I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put some of this broccoli in here as well. all crumbled up. Okay, that's it. Let's go ahead and let that rice get going. Then I'm gonna add the fish and shrimp once the rice get going, and I'm gonna let that shrimp and rice, I mean shrimp and uh, salmon poach, and it's gonna be so good. All right guys, the rice is well on its way getting done. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the salmon and the shrimp in there. Put that right in the middle. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper to it. I might, <clears throat> I'm also gonna put a little lemon on top of it. All right. Now the shrimp is basically done already. So it's just gonna to need to be heated up a little bit. So put the top back on. Other piece of salmon in there. And I'm probably gonna put two of these uh, shrimp uh, skewers in there. I'm gonna take them off of the skewer, of course. I'm gonna get a little baggie so I can put the rest of the uh, shrimp in here. Put them in the refrigerator. Okay, I made a mess right there. I don't know what kind of sauce that is. <clears throat> I'm 
All right, the fish is coming along really well, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop these shrimp in there. So it's all a matter of when that uh, fish, that salmon gets done and then everything else will be done because the rice looks like it's coming along really well and it should be done around the time that this uh, salmon is going to be poached. I made so many cooking videos here. Uh, it feels a little nostalgic being back here after all those years and, and, and cooking, especially with the new setup that I have now. I thought the little homemade setup that I did in my um, Toyota Sienna, the green van, was pretty neat too. And I, but this, you know, is a lot more organized. So I feel pretty good being back, cooking here. <laughs> and hopefully my debut back is going to be a wowza meal. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at it. Ooh la la. Ooh la la, looking good, looking good, looking good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's looking good, boy. Woo -hoo! That is looking good. Just gotta make sure that salmon is cooked. Cause y'all know me and that salmon. I always get the ends cooked. And then when I get to the middle section, it, it's not right. Remember when I was at Oz, I cooked that salmon like three times. I put it back in the pan. <laughs> and, and mainly uh, after the fact, and my, one of my uh, close friends and I was talking about it. And I said, you know what happened? I had that pan too hot because I cooked something else first and then put the salmon in. And the frying pan was super hot. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna cook my salmon first. But y'all already told me to cook my meats first and everything. You know, sometimes I just act on things. But this is going to be good. I know it is, cause it smells delicious. Let me show y'all. Look at that. Oh, you know what I'm gonna put in here right now while I got this open? I don't even know if y'all can see that. Oh. I know what I want to put in there. Oh, a little bit of hot pepper flakes. Not a lot, just a little bit. Oh yeah. That's going to give it a little bit of that heat. All right. All right. I'm going to catch you guys in a few minutes. This should be done in about another minute or so. And then we're gonna go inside and we're gonna try this meal out. I'm just, I'm just thinking it's going to be a wowzer, okay? Nice, simple, one pot dish. Can't go wrong with one pot when you're on the road. You only have, and this is, this frying pan is amazing. I mean, I can just squirt some of my water and vinegar on there and wipe it out, even more so than the previous frying pan that I had. And this is the same frying pan that Nomadic Introvert has, so very good. All right, guys, here is the finished product. Some rice with some shrimp, broccoli, onions, poached salmon. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Take that off. All right, let's get this a shot. 
Wowza. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Wowza. Woo. It has just enough kick to it. The salmon, I'm glad I broke it in half so that I can see on the inside because that's my trouble spot there. But I'm about to put my hat back on. <clears throat> that's my trouble spot. <laughs> that is my trouble spot right there. But let me tell y'all, this is so good. This is a wowzer for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm And I don't even usually cook my rice that way. Mm. 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 I am definitely making this again. I have more rice, more salmon, more shrimp. Definitely making this again. Those pepper flakes. Ooh, I might put just a tad bit too much in there though, but mm. Mm. I gotta give me something to drink. Oh my goodness. I don't care if it's warm water. My niece, she likes her water warm. She don't like it cold. Give me something to drink. Oh my goodness. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm already sweating. Woo, that's a lot better. That's a lot better, boy. Something is better than nothing, boy. Mmm. All right, let's have some salmon and shrimp and rice. Mm. I don't usually poach my salmon. I usually like, you know, y'all know me, I usually fry my salmon. saute it put it in some olive oil and cook it that way this is a good way mm, mm -mm. this is some kind of good mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. oh boy now I was gonna I was gonna stop at the grocery store and get some um, scallops too. I was gonna make this a whole seafood type of deal. I might do that the next time, but of course I'm not gonna record it because I recorded it this time for you guys. Mm. 
This is a cruising spot here. It has become quite popular over the years. I've seen a lot of people meet up here, men and women, meet up here, hop out of their car and hop into the man's car, and vice versa. I'm like, look at them. Look at them, Lord. Sneaky people. Mm, this is so good. Wow. Mm. I'm glad the sun went down. Because when I first got here, it was a little bit sunny. Mm. This must be a popular weekend that people going away because the parking ride looks a little looks a little crowded where I in a section that I usually park. So I won't be able to park there tonight. Mm. One side of the salmon gone. Let's work that second side. This is so good. Y'all have to try this meal. really good. I don't even know what the flavor of these uh, shrimps are. I didn't even look. They just look good at the grocery store, so I just bought one. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I'm so glad a lot of you guys like the sticker idea. I think it's a cool idea. There was some concern on the parts of, uh oh, I must have ate a pepper flake in that one, boy. <coughs> there was some concern about <coughs> my safety and being identified, you know, and all that stuff. Someone mentioned that, where is Tiffany? She had some on and she took hers off because she was being identified and recognized. And my first thought, <coughs> excuse me, my first thought was recognized by who, crazy people? Is she having crazy experiences or something? Excuse me, because all the all the random run-ins that I have had have been positive. People that I've seen out on the street at random who recognized me were all positive experience. So I have no reason to not do it because I think something may happen to me. Um, I was in I was in the Dollar Tree one day. And this black guy said to me, I watch your channel. Just the, you know, just the nonchalant and cool. I watch your channel. I said, thanks for the support. And he said, keep on doing what you're doing. You know, I have not had any reason or incidents that, and, and I'm pretty much a, a schedule type person. I'm pretty much in route. I'm going to be in route, you know? So it's not like I'm gonna be everywhere. I'm going to either be on a beltway, on my way to the next destination, which by the way, I extended my stay at Hillside for, I don't know, I'll be there for a month and a half when I go back after I come back from Ohio. So I like the idea of being in one place that long because it's, uh, look at me, I, I probably got it, oh, excuse me. Because it saves me money on gas, travels, and all that stuff. But I do have two day trips planned while I'm there during that time. And I may even schedule another one or two day trips just to get off the campground site for a few hours. And I'm really, really excited about those two day trips that I put together. Mm. I still have not told y'all where I'm going out of the country in November. But I posted on the community page that um, I want to have a nighttime Q&A. So that will be coming up soon as well. And I read some of the questions and a few people have already asked, where are you going out of the country next? So I might reveal that during that Q&A. You guys are going to have to stay tuned for that. Hmm. I 
I have really been enjoying the new kit. It's so much easier now to put my bed together, take it back up, my single bed now that I bought this uh, cushion to put in the center now and I don't have to rearrange my, my cushions or my mattresses and stuff. It done started to rain. I got my windows down, my door open. I'm about to, I'm about to shut all that stuff. <clears throat> I do want to make one more statement because my last cooking video that I did with, and cooking inside on a rainy day, <clears throat> a lot of you were saying, um, about the smell that accumulates in the car, in the van when cooking. A lot of you said, uh, you know, I didn't have my windows down for ventilation. I really don't cook heavy foods in here. You know, I don't, I don't put some fish in, some flour and fry some lake trout up in here. You know, those, those meals that have a lot of smoke to them. I, I, I really don't cook those type of meals in here. And what I should have done, and I didn't even think about it until it rained at the campground and I thought to put these on my side doors. And that was my roadie side panels because they have a screen that you can have your window down, have the screen portion shown. And I could have had those on both sides. And it just dawned on me days later that days later that I should have put those in and then I would have had the perfect ventilation on each side of my van. Some of you were saying, um, get some um, rain guards. I do have rain guards, but they in my storage unit. I actually made a video back in the days, not back in the days, but last year when I was at the storage unit trying to put them on and I don't know what, wrong, what, went, what went wrong, but I wasn't able to do it that day. So I ended up putting them back in the box and putting them in the storage unit. But the thing about the... Um, rain guards is I wouldn't be able to put them on the side panels, the side doors anyway, because the roadie panels are fit to fit without fit to fit. <laughs> you know, they have fit, made the right fit, excuse me, of the door. Here I go back to my bourbon again. So I wouldn't be able to put them on the side anyway. And the other thing I could have done well, that wouldn't have helped in the rain situation. I still have those little front window black things that I put over there. So I could have done some things, but sometimes I just don't be thinking at the, at the time. I just be trying to get things set up. That fish came out good, boy. Mm. All right, let's get this last little bit down. I'm so thankful to have this set up here in my van. Because on days like this where it's just raining, I have a very comfortable spot or place that I can just kick back and relax. I feel like I feel like I have I have it dialed in now I feel like once I made the decision to commit to my minivan and then followed up by getting this kit I feel like I'm dialed in now I feel like everything. <clears throat> I feel like everything should be. I don't want to say smooth sailing from this point on, but 
less challenging. Uh, of course, there's always Mother Nature. She like to show her behind sometimes. <clears throat> All right, guys, that's it. <clears throat> All done. That was delicious. Oh my God, that was definitely a wowzer. Oh, that was delicious. It is raining inside of my windows now, inside of my door right here. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. Uh, I do appreciate you guys. You know that. And hopefully, hopefully, I will be able to get this video out for you guys today. If not, definitely on tomorrow, which is Monday. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Thank you.